So here I thought I'd talk about some extra grip things, um, which can mostly apply to snare, but uh, you can add to other things as well. So this grip here is what I would call the light grip. Uh, but if you have heavier sticks, or if you're hitting really hard, you might want to do the heavy grip, where the contact point is the last three fingers of your hand, and these will just hang out. Um, so it's what I recommend for sword beaters, and it means you use wrist turns to hit. Uh, so it's kind of like doing jazz hand. Um, and that, yeah, means you can hit very loud without it being a lot of effort. Um, in, in a way that sometimes will uh, bring you grief if you're using the lighter grip. Um, you can't really buzz with them, but, you know, I, I often find myself going between them um, when playing. Uh, the other one is this guy, traditional grip or trad, which is a snare thing. Um, so you, instead of having the snare in front of you, you have it over your shoulder. Uh, so if you see me playing, this is how I play. Um, it's used by jazz drummers, but it comes back to marching snare because it's more comfortable to march with. Um, so the, the deal is you hold it at basically the same point on the stick as you would for match grip, as we call this, but upside down between yeah, this little crease here, uh, between your finger and thumb, and then you do a level on and prosper, and you balance the stick on the cuticle of your ring finger, and the other two hang out on top. It's mostly the index finger helping. Now, unless you make, so the, yeah, the stroke is this motion, so unless you make a habit of opening doorknob doors with your left hand, it's probably going to be less uh, developed than these muscles. So the way you can practice this is by going back to this one and doing this. Now, when I do that, I get a vibration going on my arm just then, so I'm going to change it to find a spot that's more comfortable. You don't want vibrations going on your arm. So you can practice it doing the jazz hand, you can practice it with your thumb, you might also want to practice playing darts and using these two fingers. Um, but you can do everything you do with a uh, match grip, so here are low taps, here are high taps, here's a whip, uh, here's a buzz. So for that one, you, I find myself again pressing with the index and then having the thumb over the top a little bit. And it's important to say, uh, normally you don't want anything over the top, particularly, because uh, that means the energy can go up into the fingers and cause tension. Um, there's a heavy grip version of uh, this. Uh, underarm thing and um, you can either play like this which I'm gradually practicing anyway or you can do an equivalent for this you know, as if you're going to stake Reese Mog hold with these three fingers if you have your surdu over your shoulder and the angle's a little bit different but it, you know, can be helpful uh, right, so um, yeah, as we go a uh, minute, so it's uh, it's important to look after yourself. Okay. Truism, really. Um, if you have twinges, you know when you get one, sort of like an electric shock, that's a sign to sort of relax a bit, uh, maybe review your technique, or just have a break. Um, you'll get blisters on your hand. If you're playing for a long time, particularly, uh, but they will turn into calluses. And one thing that helps is if you're drinking water, put water on your hands as well so they don't dry out. Uh, right, see you in the street.